Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to discuss Gonzaga versus Kansas. We're going to discuss what Gonzaga, the simple thing that they did over and over and over again to lead to a dominant performance against Kansas. Well, let's go. Okay, this is example number one. We're seeing a ball screen right here. Okay, when the ball screen happens, you uh, worry slightly about the roller because this is called a higher hedge or a hedge where you got the big man to stop the ball. So you're worried about 34 rolling to the basket. So KJ Adams helps it down. As KJ, oh, that's not KJ Adams, that's, that's to Jackson. So as Jackson helps down, it means you leave the person that Jackson was guarding open and you got an open three. Example number two, again, we see ball screen. As this ball screen happens, we see this little hedge to try and stop the ball again. That means we're worried about 34 on the roll. And 34 is rolling. This action was slightly different in that they had the person down here roll up to replace. So that way the switches are worried about Kansas. They're not sure who is guarding. KJ Adams was the help, and then he can't leave until Brown gets back. So KJ Adams needs to close back out. And by that time, he's too late, and it's a wide open shot. So again, the concept is the big man down here, quote unquote big man, is going to come up as the screen is occurring. It puts KJ Adams in a difficult spot because he has to be the help and then also close out. And alas, open look again. Boom. Next possession. Exact same concept. Screen's going to happen here. Boom. Hey, this person comes up. Who's the person helping? KJ Adams is. Except what just happened? The person in the corner just made a three. So KJ Adams is like, oh. I can't let that happen again. He closes out. As soon as he closes out right here, Zero just patiently waits till KJ Adams leave. Wide open pass in the middle. Three plays, three great results. Again, ball screen. Okay, you see the hedge. Two players go with the ball. This player is a relatively good shooter. So all he simply does is pop out open to the wing or open to the top of the key. Okay? No one is anywhere near him. There's no rotation. Both players went with the ball. So he leave an open shooter and a great pass so dickinson recognizes too late says oh crap i gotta close out it's gonna be an open shot no one else is on no one else is on the same page there's no rotation here no rotation here wide open ball in the middle and a great pass and easy finish again exact same play okay coming off the ball screen right here dickinson stays up here tries the hedge they have rotation a little bit earlier this time however zero is able to get downhill because furphy is the one on him instead so he's able to get downhill. And you saw on the backside, because they've been getting so many shots at the rim, I guarantee at some point in the timeout, they were like, Harris, you gotta cheat down. So Harris cheats down to take away that, which he does. However, his player simply comes strolling in behind where nobody was, and a great find inside and another easy finish. That's all within the last four minutes, they've had five easy possessions. For this one simple concept to work this often, means you're going to have a lot of issues if you're Kansas. There's almost no chance you're going to win. They were lights out in the first half, which is why they were ahead, period. But in the second half, it caught up to them because Gonzaga just kept doing the same freaking thing. If it works and it's getting wide open shots every single time, why not? Okay, screen, edge, two players on the ball. You have this rotation, 34 is going down. This player is coming up. Okay, boom, player right here. Furphy decides, oh, no three-pointer. What does that mean? Nobody's at the rim. Okay, again. Easy shot after easy shot after easy shot. And the thing that I love the most is that Mark Few wasn't like, oh, I need to get fancy, I need to change something up. I can just stay consistent. And this staying consistent led to the fact that Gonzaga absolutely smoked Kansas, combined with the issues that Kansas had in the first place, the shooting um, the shooting issue, frankly, they had. But yeah, overall, great performance by Gonzaga, great performance by Mark Few, I absolutely love it. If you want to see a better example or a more detailed example of what I think Kansas's main issue was, why they were never going to be that great of a team. I'll link it right here. Have a great rest of your day.